clarity on these NLPers is just awesome. Right now I'm just staring at the grains and the wood. It's how clear it is. It's crazy. Love it. Oh, there's a spider. See, look at that. Even in my shop I can view nature. <laughs> What is up guys and gals? It's Chris again with Ignited by Nature and today I'm going to be installing the forehead rest for the NL Piers. The FRP is what they call it. And then I'm going to be installing the Epic Outdoors tripod adapter. So if you already have the SLC tripod adapter from Swarovski, you can go ahead and just buy this little stud from Epic Outdoors and pop it on and you'll be able to use this tripod adapter glass. You won't be having to use this bulky contraption that Swarovski sells for $160. Now that we've gone over what we're going to install today, we're just going to go over what tools you're going to need. In this box you'll get a little Allen wrench. You're going to need that to take off the two set screws in the front of this NL pier, which we'll go over in a second. And once you get those two set screws off, you're just going to pop this guy on, it just pops right in, it's really simple. And then for the installation of the Bino stud, you're going to need the Epic Outdoors stud kit. So in this kit you get the NL Pier stud that works in conjunction with the SLC adapter. And then you also get some Loctite that you can apply to this stud. You also need a knife or a sharp razor blade to pop off that front cap. You're going to need a T20 torque wrench and then a standard wrench with an 11 16 socket. All right, so now that we've gone over the basics and everything that we need, let's go ahead and take a closer look and see how this is assembled. We got everything here. Let's go ahead and start with the forehead rest for the NL pier. That's going to be pretty simple. This whole procedure should probably take about five minutes, so it'll be a pretty quick video. So we'll go ahead and pop these caps off. And then you'll see these two little Allen head screws right here. We're just going to go ahead and unscrew those. We're going to take this out of the box. In the box you get this little FRP instruction manual. This nice little handy dandy bag. And then in the bag you have the forehead rest right here. And that's just going to click in right there once you take off those Allen screws. So we'll set that aside, set that over there. And then this is what I was looking for, this little Allen key. So all we're gonna do here, let me see, zoom in a little bit for you. So all I'm doing here is taking this Allen key and sticking it in the female portion of the hole and then I'm just going to unscrew it. They're not super tight so you won't have to crank down on these or anything. They come loose pretty easily. So see one just came out and then second one is coming out right now. Unscrew that. So, boom, those two screws come off. We can go ahead and set this Allen key in there and then also drop those in the bag and store those away for later. So, now that we have those two set screws out, we can go ahead and just pop this in and it fits in really nicely so we're just gonna put those closer together like so and then it should just lock in when you're installing these you you actually want to make sure that these are all the way in so they're at their closed setting and then you can just push it right in and see these put this pop right out too they're not hard to pop in and out just got to do it evenly so just pop out like that and then you're going to go ahead and make sure that they line up in both holes and you just push in. 
like so. So, boom, they're in on both sides and they're good to go. And then you can adjust this in and out, this little knob, this wheel right here. So as you can see, you can set them down right there. I'll just show you. They spin in and out like that. Now that I have the forehead rest on, let's go ahead and put the bino stud on. We'll go ahead and put these caps back. Make sure to keep that all clean and you can see the caps fit on nicely still. So then we're going to take this razor blade and kind of pop this section off right here. Boom. Pops right off. Super easy. It helps to have a really thin uh, knife or something like this razor blade it just pops right off. And then once we have that off, I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna take this T20 star wrench and unscrew this factory nut. And then it should just pop right out. So this little factory nut popped out. Set that aside, and then we're gonna go ahead and open up this Epic Outdoors Bino Stud adapter. And take that off. So in this package, it looks like we got a little bit of blue Loctite, and then we got your actual Bino Stud. So all we're gonna do. Let's open this up. And we're just gonna make a small little incision. And then now that we have that Loctite done, a little dab goes a long way. So we got that on there. See, so just a little dab. You don't need too much. And Epic Outdoors actually has a video on how to do this as well. So I always like to first thread it backwards to, to make sure it's threaded right. So basically when you thread it backwards, you're just aligning the threads. And then once it's aligned, then I'm going to go ahead and thread it on. I'm going to hand tighten it down until it's just about hand tight, can't twist anymore. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take this 11 sixteenths wrench and socket and go ahead and tighten it down. Switch that over to tight. And we're just gonna do a little bit of, just tighten a little bit, don't have to crank it down. And then we're good. The bino stud is installed. We got the forehead rest on. And you saw it took less than five minutes. So let's go ahead now and take a look uh, how it works on the tripod. I'll see you back in a second. Well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. So as you can see, we have everything installed on the NL Pier. It was pretty quick and simple. We got the NL Pier stud in the front now that we can use in conjunction with the SLCs, um, the SLC adapters, and then we also have the forehead rest. So with that being said, we can now ditch this clunky binocular holder that is the only thing that Sorosi makes for all their products, which is kind of surprising. Well, they do have this bino adapter for the SLCs, but this is the main one. If you have the brand new NL Piers or any of their other models, you gotta use this, which there's nothing wrong with it. It's just kind of clunky and I mean, it's just awkward. I'll be glad to get rid of this. So then with the SLC adapter, let's go ahead and open this up. In the box, we get the nice little manual that Swarovski always provides, the Swarovski Green. And then it looks like you get a Allen wrench 
and then you get this adapter and then a stud. So this is the stud that Swarovski provides for the SLC and then supposedly this stud right here on the NLP -er will fit on inside of this. So let's go ahead and mount this on the tripod. So we get that mounted up. And then we can just slide that on there. And then boom, locks in. And it works. That is pretty awesome. I'm super stoked. And if I loosen up my tripod a little bit, I can do the pan tilt. And so we'll go ahead and pop these covers off. Just take a look in them, see how it flows. Pop the eye cups out and look through. And boom, it's super nice. I like that. Let's go ahead and loosen this a little bit so I can turn more fluidly. Oh, yeah. And I'm just, obviously, it's everything's pretty close right here. With the NL Piers, you do have a um, six, six foot is what you can start glassing at basically and actually see. Yeah, so as you can see, I got that turned to the side. You got my, my forehead rest right there. Super easy to move in and out, depending on what adjustment you need. And then that stud works flawlessly with the SLC adapter. And then I have a really right stuff tripod head on my Peak Design tripod legs. So, love this setup right here. I can glass off this and shoot off of it. So let's go ahead and lock this back in. And lock it, tighten that down. Boom. Put this back in the box real quick. All right, so we got the box put away. We get to put these away finally, and we have the new NL Peer adapter set up on this tripod, and I'm super stoked. This was a little gear tech tip. Wanted to show you some of the accessories out there for the NL Peers. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video helped you out. If you're thinking about getting the Bino Stud made by Epic Outdoors, you just saw how easy it is to install. And if you're thinking about getting the forehead rest, that's pretty easy to install as well. If you like what I'm putting out here, please like and subscribe to my videos. Um, I'd really appreciate it. If you follow me, that helps me out. And if you like and uh, leave a comment in the description below, I'd love to hear your feedback. And also your feedback not only helps me improve my videos, but it also lets me know that you know you like my stuff. Thanks again. This is Chris with Ignited by Nature. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.